uh, when I, it was right after I first started at AFR where uh, there was a mudslide. Trucks were stuck, cars were stuck, people were there for days, and our transfer truck was stuck. We had to do what we had to do, and in the end we were able to make the client's really happy. Our LA team handled all the pickups, our San Diego team was doing most of the deliveries, and we really just made the circle just keep going around, trying to do what we could do, and in truth, there were some clients who were unhappy because they, they wanted one specific ottoman, and that specific ottoman was sitting in the mud. My name is Kate Bartlett. I am the Western Regional Sales Manager for AFR Event Furnishings. I think the purpose of furniture and decor and design and events is to transform a space. Right now, when we go to these conferences like Cater Source or you go to the Event Marketer, everyone talks about the experience. It's not just going to an event and eating the food and having a drink and leaving. It's what can I see, what can I touch, what can I experience? And people love these blank canvas event spaces because you can make it anything that you want. And a certain type of furniture can take that for you too. You've got, you want to make it a cabaret, you go a little bit darker and have lots of little intimate spaces. Do you want to make it a networking event? Okay, let's have the furniture be more open instead of little conversation pits. Let's keep it open so people can approach each other and really keep the conversation flowing. You know, a very tactile and textured linen makes people really want to reach out and see and experience the whole event. And a centerpiece that has lots of different depth makes you really focus on it. And I think that's what event decor can do. There's amazing hotel ballrooms in every single city across the nation but at the end of the day it's, it's a ballroom but what can you do with that ballroom and I love when you have a multi-day event and you know the welcome reception is this look and then the next day it's the same room and you wouldn't even know yet the carpet's the same that's how you know it's the same room I love that and I think that if you want to bring people together you have to show them something different. When somebody walks into their general session meeting and it's not just basic chairs, which has its time and its place, there's nothing wrong with that, but I think that when you see a bunch of orange sofas laid out or charging stations and people come and they see even light effects and gobos just for a sales meeting, they say, okay, I'm gonna, this is gonna be great. I'm gonna see something different. This is not just gonna be a generic meeting. One of the things that led AFR to social tables, at least in my experience, was that everybody needs to be able to see and touch an experience. If you're gonna create an experience, you, you have to be able to see it to sell it. And we have a 90 page catalog with amazing furniture, but just, we might not have a photo of everything together. And what I love that our clients can do is that they can play with their wildest dreams. Like, I never thought that this table would even go with this sofa, but it gives us the flexibility to be able to say, okay, let's play around with it. Let's be creative. Maybe we'll put this in there and it'll wow us and we'll be able to show the client, okay, yes, you can do this look. Isn't that amazing? And I think people need an image now. I mean, we live in a time when there's pictures of everything, there's digital renderings. And so I love that we have the ability to say, okay, I'm gonna give you something so you can paint the vision and you can go to your client and say, look, you really can do this. It sounds wacky, but here you go. Look how amazing it looks. <laughs>